Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope y'all are having a blessed one. Um, so let's see. All right, so this is our KB Core Tech Thursdays. For those who don't know what KB Core Tech Thursday is all about. It's literally me giving you little little snippets of little nuggets of information um, regarding KV Core. So far, we we've gotten through a lot of the basics of KV Core, and if you are still kind of new to KV Core, just let me know. Hey, like hit me up, email me. Hey, I'm still on the basics. Like I don't know where to start. Um, I don't know anything about the system definitely just email me at taylor actually no email me at mx1 airport at gmail.com so today we're going to talk about property alerts and then we're going to talk we're going to finish well, we're going to start finishing up core listing machine because i know i touched on it a little bit last week and so um, we're going to talk about that today all right, so let me share my screen. Okay. All right, so you guys should see what I see. And this is where we are. We're on, your, on our main dashboard. So before we get into everything, um, I wanted to touch on like one thing real quick, or actually two things real quick. So the first thing I wanted to say, one second, let me stop the first thing I wanted to say was with your website, I keep getting this question regarding like how the website works and how, how will you attach your website that you already have to this new website. And let me share it once again. This right here is your website. I'm clicking on it. Um, so what's going to happen is you're if you have taylorsellsrealestate.com, right? Up here, it says airportsouth.max1partners.com. You want your website taylorsellsrealestate.com to redirect to this website. How do you do that? If you got your domain from godaddydomain.com, somebody uh, spoke with an agent yesterday, she got her domain from Google. Wherever you got your domain from, you're going to redirect that taylorsellsrealestate.com to this website. And so when, when you give out your cards with your, with your website on it saying taylorsellsrealestate.com, when people put that in there, like I should be able to do this. This is what's going to happen. They're going to be like, oh, hold on. They're going to be like, taylorsellsrealestate.com. And guess what's gonna, and guess when I click on that, it should reroute here to this website. That's how that works. If y'all need to further, you know, talk, if you don't know how to do it, like on GoDaddy or on Google or on um, uh, domain.com, wherever you got your website from, I would say contact them. How do I do a redirect? All right. So there's that. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I feel like I explained this yesterday and um, I had an agent with me, didn't really understand what I was saying, but I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it's being put in layman terms for you guys because I know that I can confuse my dog on self, okay? But um, all right, so if it doesn't make sense and y'all are confused, just let me know. Let me know and I'll get I'll have someone else um, also explain it. Or if you need to just talk to the KV Core help desk and maybe they can help you 
that is an option as well. All right, so let's continue. Today, oh, the second thing I wanted to talk about before I got into it, the, li the listings that we have, these listings, if you go to your listings right here on your, your left-hand side, company listings, or if you have listings, my listings, company listings, but the company listings down here, excuse me, these are active listings. They pull from the MLS, yes, but they're active. So we're not going to have, you know, sold listings or pending listings filtering through here. They're active. So just letting that, let, hoping you guys understand that they're active. Um, all right, so let's go to a, we go to your smart CRM. We're going to go to a customer, a client, a buyer, a lead. So we're going to go to all contacts. And let's just click on this person. Actually, no, let's go here. So, Tamika Mance, we're going to go to property alerts. This is where we're talking. Oh, stop, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I'm going to finish up core listing in a minute. So, go, we're going to go to property alerts. So, um, the way that this works is trying to see if they had any property sent to them since there are no property alerts set up for her yeah so what we can do if you have a lead and it's a new lead and that you just import it in you want this lead to get properties right so property sent to them so what you're going to do is you're going to set up the property alert so that um they would get text daily or email daily or weekly or bi-weekly or monthly like you can you can set it up to whichever one and they'll get listings sent to them so do, 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 do. so this alert we can set it to be active or inactive um so down here let's say i want my alert to go Henry County. There it goes. Henry County. You can do counties, you can do as many or as little areas as you want. Um, the types of listings commercial, condos, most of you guys are going to have the single family, right? And you know, there are active listings that are going to be sent to them. So the price range, oh, my client is looking for something in the 300,000 between there and the 500,000, right? Bedrooms, I think my my client needs three plus. We need at least two plus bathrooms. We don't care about the square footage or the acres or the years built. And you can add key keywords if you want to, but that's optional, right? You don't want to, and you don't want to limit. Um, if you add some, you can kind of limit the listings that are sent but um, you don't have to. So if you want to, you can, it's an option. Frequency, never, as soon as possible, daily, weekly, once, twice a month, monthly. How, many, how often do you want them to send property alerts? But well, we're looking for something now. Or daily, let's just do daily. Or you don't want to bug them. Let's just do once a week. Yeah. 
All right. So you come up on here and you say, you either set the alert or you save and send it. So if you save and send, it automatically sends to, um, to the buyer or the lead, right? So that's how you set it up. I'm gonna just do, I wanna show y'all what it looks like when I don't wanna mess with this person at all. So I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna get out of that. I'm trying to see if there's a person who already had Okay, this person had property alert set up here. So this is what it looks like. Well, they view these properties, right? And so I believe, and there's a way to actually see the property alert sent, but maybe um, there's a, well, once you send it, it'll show up in those little, um, let me go back to the first, first person we're looking at. Sorry. So once you uh, send that that alert, right, and, and create it, it'll show up there just as you saw on the other one. So once you once it sends, it'll show a picture of the different properties that were sent in, in these behavioral alerts. And you can even, if it automatically sent one, it'll have this um, option to text or email. And you will click on, you can click on text and you'll be like, hey, I saw you checking out this property. And then it has an option for you to um, resend the picture. And yeah, it's it's really cool once, y once you do it, once you get into it, I think you guys got to get into it for yourselves but it's actually pretty cool. So I can't show you because I don't wanna keep digging for and finding a lead. I'll probably have a good example of that next week, um, but y'all, you guys, it's, it's self-explanatory. You guys will see it once you do it. But that's how you set up your property alerts. You want to send those listings out to your buyers, your clients, your leads. Also, Guess what? Remember where we have company listings? So, and let me know if I'm going to fizz, okay? But where we have company listings, all right, go to listings, company listings. So let's say there's this listing right here. I want to post this on my Facebook. Go to more actions, post to Facebook, post to Twitter, post to Pinterest, post to Craigslist, or email to hashtag, send the text, print a flyer. Take a look at those things. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So that's how you you can you can um, share listings on your Facebook area right? or um, other social media platforms. Now let's go back to core listing machine. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, now go into marketing. Go into core listing machine. So we kind of touched on this last week. We touched on social media. We went to social media. If you want to set it up, this is where you set it up. You can add your Facebook. You can add your Twitter. You can add your LinkedIn. You can disconnect if you want it to. It's completely up to you. Now, I there's people who've had um, posts, posts um, already. <clears throat> and who have done their core listings and they're like, oh my gosh, KV Core is sending like an article a day. 
constantly sending articles on my on my page you can change that so where it says my uh articles or market listings or holidays like if you have listings here like this is where you'll put them and it, it can um it can automatically post here but let's let's just focus here um, just to turn it off because I know I have these um, I have something set up hot dog I um, deleted it already so let me go back here so I can tell y'all what these are okay where it says articles because I know a lot of us have these articles that will that would post on their page and let me show y'all what it looks like on Facebook. So, going to Taylor's Voyage. These are what the articles look like. I didn't post it, KV Core does, right? So they're posting all different kinds of stuff, different articles and stuff. So, that's where this category comes in. You can edit your categories. I, if you want it to, um, I turned it off. Like I turned the posting days off, but if you want to post Sunday, Monday, I put, I literally put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Post every single day. Okay. Oh, you only could put four. Ha! But I only put, um, I'll probably put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's what KV Core did. They just posted an article out of the lot of these um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or and Thursday. And you can pick and choose which ones you want, but you have to select eight of them, so, or you can select all of them. So, and locations, you can modify the locations and everything. But if you don't want these, save. If you would like to, if you would like content automatically posted, please select at least one account. Well, I don't want to select the account, so I'm skipping. It won't post anymore. See? You get the uh oh, so if you you can choose whether or not you want that on there. If you if you're confused, like you know, it's just another way to generate leads or get some some leads in, um, and it makes your page super active. So you know, somebody might be interested in this article, and you know, next thing you know, they they um, sign up, and then bam, that's a lead. So anywho. Um, so it's completely up to you. If you whatever social media you want to connect it to, you can definitely add that on here. But um, and also same thing with holidays. Um, what kind of posts you want for holidays, you can edit that, or you can just take those off. Yeah. All right, I hope that makes sense regarding core listing machine. Um, play around with it. Guys, like you guys have the tools to be successful on KV Core. You guys do. Y'all have the tools to be successful. You have me, you have Alan, you have the KV Core support. Um, call center support. I've called them at like pretty much every week uh, regarding something, but they are very helpful. And I know like, oh, well, you know, they, even the little chat box, that blue chat box that they have, and um, it's first a robot, but then you can actually connect and talk to a team. Sometimes they do take a minute, but I feel like 
these people are actually like super helpful. So utilize your resources and you can find trial and error, find things yourself, find things out yourself. Like, you know, y'all are problem solvers. So, and you got this. And I think KB Court is helpful. I think it is useful if you if you want to if you whatever you want to get out of it put in that type of effort to get all that you can out of it okay all right so that is everything um it is 20 minutes a little past 20 minutes but i hope you guys have a great one um if you have any questions email me call me email me a lot of agents have scheduled some time, schedule time with me to like sit down and walk through KB Core. Schedule that, schedule that ahead of time because that, that will be like the best thing because I can't like sit on the phone and like I'm in the middle of doing something that I'm like talking, talking to y'all for a, however long, like hours. Like I'm trying to, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to help you out. Like, like schedule ahead of time, but I'm here to help you for sure. I want to help you guys. So um, let me know. And you y'all have a great one. See you guys next week. Same time, one o'clock to 120. Y'all have a blessed one.